In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create an animated sailboat infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have downloaded this GIF file from the net. You can see something like this. And then when I click, uh, each sailboat will start sailing on this water and then the option will appear at the top. So let me just show you how it works. When I click, you can see here one sailboat comes. And I have added icon here and then you can add your title and the detailed text or any other text you want you can replace it so then when I click then the second board comes here and it will stop here and then it will reveal the the option to or the title to and on my next click it will come from the right side the option 3 you can see here and then when on my click the last option comes something like this so depending on your requirement if you want to add more boards you can just add as many as you want depending on your requirement and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel powerpoint university I have created a WhatsApp group. You can join my group with the help of this link. It is also provided in the video description section. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. For this, I have used 2019 PowerPoint version and this particular slide can work in any version of PowerPoint. I had a new slide and I've downloaded this uh, GIF file from the net. So I'm just going to use this for this particular uh, slide. Now I'm just going to cover the bottom part of the slide. You can see here something like this. And if I do a slideshow, it looks something like a real water. So now if you don't have this one or if you're having a better file or uh, GIF file than this, you can use that one or you can use a normal any a solid color also so then i'm going to add one more rectangle at the top go to shape select the rectangle cover the top part here you can see here shape outline make it no outline and you can give some uh, light color here i'm going to use this one now i'm going to add the sailboats for that go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes, I'm going to select the trapezoid, draw a trapezoid, maybe this much size, shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill, you can give any dark color. Then I'm just going to rotate this, go to rotate, you can see here, I can just simply say uh, flip vertical and you can just increase the size or decrease the size, something like this. And then I'm going to give some shadow effect, right mouse click, go to format shape and from the effects you can go to shadow from the presets i'm going to select any of the shadow effect you can see it whichever way for example i'm going to select this one and then you can increase the blur size let me just increase the blur size here so now i'm going to add some kind of uh, more shapes here go to insert shapes I'm going to select the right triangle, draw the right triangle. You can see here something like this. Shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill, make it white. And I'm going to add one small rectangular line, a vertical line. So go to shapes, select the rectangle again, draw a very small line. Shape outline, make it no outline shape fill i'm going to select red color and then i'm just going to make the width as 0.03 you can see here let me just zoom in and then i'm just going to attach here and i'm going to add one more shape press ctrl d to duplicate you can see here just rotate it i can simply flip do a flip horizontal again add it here reduce the size of the shape and then right mouse click edit point and you can see here the points there i'm just going to drag this up so it looks something like this you can see here and then i'm going to add one a flag here so go to insert shapes and scroll down you can see here the stars and banners i'm going to use this wave kind of thing and then just add something like this shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give the same 
color so it looks something like this you can see here and if you want you can just increase the size a little bit also and here at this place either i can add the option a b c d or one two three four or if you want you can use the icons also let me just use some icons go to insert click on the icons so depending on your requirement uh, you can choose the right icon so i'm just going to select this icon hold the shift key reduce the size and put it here then graphic fill i'm going to choose the same color which is red you can see here now our boat or the sailboat design is ready so i'm going to select all of this you can see here with the help of a mouse and group it by pressing ctrl g okay and if you want to give some shadow effect also you can do that one go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape something like this shape fill make it sorry shape outline make it no outline and here i'm going to give a gradient fill gradient fill i'm going to use two stops only i'm going to delete these two stops so one stop i'm going to select the black before that one the type make it radial and direction make it from the center and i'm going to select the one stop and make it black and the other one i'm going to choose the color which is of this one any water and make sure that the transparency becomes 100 percent and this one i'm going to the effects go to soft adjust and increase the size you can see here something like this then i'm just going to place this here if you want you can make it more soft adjust also and then just send this back and this also i'm going to group it along with the, the sailboat so again select with the help of a shift key and press ctrl g so it becomes one shape you can see here likewise you need to add three or four different sailboats and change the color depending on your requirement you can add as many as you want so let me just add one or two further or more press ctrl d to duplicate hold the shift key and i'm just going to reduce the size you can see here and then i'm going to select this and i'm going to give some different color combination you can see here let me just zoom in so this one also this vertical line also i'm just going to select give the orange color and the flag also orange and then the icon i'm going to format graphic change you can see here change graphic from icons i can select any icon depending on my requirement maybe i'm going to select this one click insert and change the color to again orange so you can see here our second boat is ready so depending on your requirement how many boats you want you can just add this so now to give the animation i have to bring or i have to take this sailboats out of the screen area so i'm just going to select and then with the help of a mouse key i'm just going to make it outside something like this and this also i'm going to put it here outside of the screen area so to add the animations go to the animations tab enable the animation pane i'm going to select this sailboat the red one first and then you can add animation you can scroll it down either you can select the motion path which is line which is down or you can go to the uh, more motion path also depending on your requirement so for example if i go to more motion path and i'm going to just make it the right side so i'm just going to select this you can see here click on the right and click ok so it moves here towards inside the you can see here and just i'm going to place it here something like this so okay so once you have added this one so i'm going to double click this and then smooth start smooth and make it uh, all zero then go to the timings the duration you can make it maybe a slow or uh, very slow depending on your requirement and repeat you have to make it none that's not a problem so then what i'm going to do is just click ok so you can see here it comes like this now it's come a very you know a plain straight like that i want to give some more animation to this again i'm going to select the shape uh, the this boat add animation under more emphasis effects you can select the teeter you can see here this one click ok and double click this timings again make it very slow and repeat say until end of the slide you can see here and then for this i'm going to select with previous so let me just show you how it works when i click play 
you can see here it got some motions here you can see here so it looks more realistic effect now once you have done this one it's time to add some text so once the ship comes or the sailboat comes and stops here the text should come there so go to insert text i'm going to type title 01 same color i'm going to use make it bold go to insert text box and you can add your detail text here font you can give maybe gray color or dark gray or black depending on your requirement reduce the font size you can see here something like this then what i'm going to do i'm just going to select both of this and group it Control g to group it now once the sailboat stops here I want to reveal the text so for that I'm going to select this and again animation add animation you can choose any entrance effects you can see here most more entrance effects you can choose anything maybe I can just select a stretch click OK and it should come from bottom and this should happen I can say here after previous so once this stops here and the text comes so let me just show you how it works so you can see here the boat comes here the sailboats and then it will stop here and then the text appears there now it's very easy for me i'm just going to select this to add the animation to this boat again click on animation painter select this one and this one instead of stopping here i want to make it more further or i can stop it here depending on your requirement i want to bring this till here and then I want to add one more animation for the text maybe I can just simply select this press ctrl D you can see here and I'm just going to make this as option or the title 2 and then color should be uh, orange color something like this so either you want on click this one or you want after previous depending on your requirement so if I play now you can see here the first board comes and it will stop there the text will reveal and then the second board will come and it goes further straight and then stops there and give you the the text there so likewise you can add as many as boards as you want again if you want to add from the right side also you can add it so as i mentioned uh, earlier that if you don't want to use this gif file simply i can just delete this one you can see here you can go to insert shapes select the rectangle you can select any rectangle i mean the rectangle at the same size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can go to more fill colors and you can choose any color of your choice depending on the requirement so something like this also can be done if i play now so your slide looks something like this so let me just sorry select this one and send to back and now if i play again so you can see here it looks something like this so whichever way you feel better you want you can add the gif file or a simple plain background also you can use it